In this video, I'll show you the two best meta guard builds in NBA 2K23, the 6-1 guard and the 6-9 guard. Depending on your play style, game modes you play, and the builds your teammates have will determine which meta build will be the best for you. So in this video, I'm going to break down the two builds to help you decide which meta guard best fits you. All right, this first build is from my smaller guards, and of course, you're going to go point guard for position, hand this don't really matter, and then jersey number. If you're going to go with a small guard, the best height to go with is a 6-1. They get the best badge counts, the best animations, the best attributes, all the good stuff. So you want to go 6-1, weight, you want to go the lowest as possible, which is 160 wingspan we're going to max that out so you can get that 99 still and then body shape will go with slight body shape don't really matter but i like slight the best with smaller builds all right first category is finishing and we want to make sure that we get that 80 driving dunk y'all so we can get quick drops we're a smaller guard we don't need any crazy contact dunks you can make this build with 86 driving dunk and get contact dunks but you don't need them they're not necessary at all because quick drops off one is all you need so as you can see we get limitless takeoff silver on gold limitless takeoff is overpowered but you don't need it on gold to get the animation so we're going to have that on silver you want to go 77 layup and 52 close shot that's going to give you 16 finishing badges so you can put 10 in the first two tiers and then you can have that six left over for silver limitless takeoff and then once you core limitless takeoff you got six extra badge points that you can put anywhere in this finishing category all right for shooting i want to make sure that i got agent three gold and i think agent three might be the best shooting badge that in limitless range but i value agent three more than limitless range because you can get the limitless range takeover and that's gonna make you be able to shoot from half court without limitless range at all so we're gonna go with the 89 three ball 75 mid range and the 91 free throw that free throw is super high but i didn't have nothing else to really put it on with this build so i put it on free throw in case you're playing rec or pro-am next we're going to move over to playmaking and playmaking i got 23 total playmaking badges in the ball handle category i made sure that i got a 92 so i can get all the tier 3 badges that i wanted so we have clamp breaker killer combos handles for days silver i don't feel like handles for days is really that good this year i feel like you can use it on bronze and get away with it but we got those three badges and we also got quick first step on hall of fame for our speed with ball we went with the 79 speed with ball this year is not really that important so 79 is more than enough and then pass accuracy i went with an 80 all you need is a 70 to unlock LeBron James pass style, but I went with the 80 just so I can have a little bit more faster passes. And that gave us a total of 23 playmaking badges. Moving on to defense, I feel like this category really separates this build from other smaller builds, and that's because we get a 99 steal and a Hall of Fame glove, y'all. That is super overpowered. If you play this game, you know how overpowered steals are. So right now, we have a super overpowered offensive-wise build at 6-1, moving fast, and you also get a 99 steal. So plugging people is going to be super easy with the max wingspan. And then we went with the 80 perimeter defense, 59 block, and then defensive rebounding, and interior defense don't really matter because we're not going to be putting no situations like that because we're going to be playing with builds that can do those things for us but as you can see in the defensive category we get 24 defensive badges moving on to the physicals y'all this right here is going to make this build move like the flash i'm telling y'all acceleration is the most important thing for guards when you're dribbling this is what makes you fast coming out of your speed boost running around the court driving getting up before a three it's all acceleration when you had a ball in your hand so we put our acceleration to a 94 and then with gym rat that's going up to a 98 with the plus four and then our speed is at a 79 that's all we need we're not going to be really guarding ball we're not going to be running decks and off ball so our speed doesn't need to be super high but 79 is pretty decent and then vertical we went with the 60 because we also need a 60 vertical to get quick drops off of one to go with the 80 driving dunk and then stamina we put that at a 95 because we're gonna be doing a lot of dribbling all right y'all that's a 6-1 build it has a lot of strengths but it also has some weaknesses that i'm gonna go over with y'all this build is super cheesy on the threes court if you have a lockdown on your team i know you have a 99 still but you don't want to be 6-1 guarding six nines and six eights all day on the threes court so if you have a lockdown on your team you will go crazy on the threes i'm telling y'all you're gonna get free threes all day you're so fast you have a 99 steal, so you still can get you still can get plucks, you still can get bump steals, you still can just rip people with Hall of Fame glove. But the offense is so overpowered, you're moving like crazy with this build. With the 94 acceleration, you ain't gonna be able to be guarded because you can rim run, quick drops, or you can shoot a three. You have a high ball handle, and it's super easy to score on this build. I'm telling y'all, and you also got the high steal that we talked about. All right, and the weaknesses I would say this build has is that it's gonna be kind of difficult to play on the twos and the ones just for an average player. If you're a pretty good player, you can play the twos and the ones because you'll know how to play defense and you'll know how to spam steals and use that Hall of Fame glove to your advantage. But not everybody's gonna be able to go on the twos and the ones and win consistently with this build. And then all around defense, like the attributes are pretty high. Like still, 99 still is crazy. That is ridiculous. I don't know how this build gets that, but 99 still is ridiculous. But all around defense, like rebounding and block, this build just doesn't have everything that the taller builds have, but it still can hold its own, y'all. It still can hold its own, especially if you got a lockdown on your team. All right, when it comes to takeovers, this build has everything you can ask for offensively wise, but it also has lockdown takeover, y'all. This build has lockdown takeover. So this build is crazy. I'm telling y'all, very cheesy build, very good build, unguardable on the offensive side. You can definitely hold your own with that 99 still. And if you want to put on extreme clamps, perimeter, enhanced jump shots, you can put them on too. But I will go with limitless range. And then I'll probably go with perimeter badge drop or switch those, whichever way y'all want to do that. All right, we have shades of Kurt Heinrich, Fred Van Vliet, and also De'Aaron Fox with the build name of a three-point shot creator. So this build is very dominant, y'all. Very overpowered on offense. And you get that 99 still so you can hold your own as well on defense. All right, now for what I think it might be the glitchiest overpowered 6-9 build. With the 6-9 builds, you can make them tons of different ways. It really depends on y'all's play style. 
out, but y'all cannot go wrong with a 6'9 build because it can do everything. Literally, it can do everything. I'm telling y'all. So position, of course, you want to go with point guard, hand is always use right hand, don't really matter. And Jay's number don't matter to continue. So you want to go 6'9 and you want to go lowest weight so you can be as fast as possible. And then for wingspan, we're going with 7'6. We're maxing that out. And then body type, slight. I know I like slight. It looks the best to me. So first, we're going to start out in this fitnessing category, y'all. And as y'all can see, I have a 96 driving dunk. And y'all might ask, why is my driving dunk so high? Because I can get quick drops off of 80. And I also can get contact dunks at 86. But I went with a 96 driving dunk on this build because you get limitless takeoff hall of fame. I don't know if y'all play anybody that uses limitless takeoff hall of fame, but that is probably the most overpowered badge in this game. I promise y'all. It's so glitchy. With the Michael Jordan dunk, you do literally takes off from the free throw line and you cannot stop it as a defender. It's so overpowered. I'm telling y'all, Hall of Fame Luminous takeoff with a 96 driver dunk is glitchy. But we get 14 defensive badges. And a good thing about the six nines is that all the good badges fall in tier one and two. I don't know why this height is like this, but as you can see, limitless takeoff, six badges in tier two. All you need is put is six badges and we get 14. So you haven't even touched your tier three with posterizer. So once we get that core and then we put our extra plus four badges inside our finishing, not all of them, but at least about 16, we can get posterizer go and this build is overpower y'all finishing it while you can't stop it. I'm just glitchy. All right, moving on to shooting on the six nine. You don't need nothing really crazy because we're going to be using limitless range takeover and that takeover badge right there is just going to make you be able to shoot from anywhere already. So we went with the 83 three ball so that we can get agent threes at least on silver because I feel like that is probably the best shooting badge in the game. And then mid range 74 and then free throws at a 62, not too high, but we're not really worried about free throws on the six nine. And that gives us a total of 19 shooting badges. On to playmaking where we get 20 playmaking badges. I went with the 87 ball handle, a speed with ball of a 75 and then pass accuracy at least a 75 so I can unlock that LeBron James pass style. And as you can see, we get quick first step on gold. Also, we get bailout, another very important badge. And then at 87 is when you get clamp breaker gold. And I feel like clamp breaker is super overpowered, especially if you're an ISO build and even more on a 6'9 with a 96 driving dunk. We also get unpluckable gold and then handles for days on silver. And like I told y'all, I don't feel like handles for days needs to be that high. But you also get killer combos on silver as well. Now we're moving over to defense, y'all. I'm telling y'all, this build right here is so glitchy. It is crazy. We have a 99 block and we get Hall of Fame anchor. So if you're on the ones, twos, threes, it don't matter. You can, you can play center in the wreck on this build, but you also can dribble. Like it's literally, the build can do everything. You get a 99 dunk with Hall of Fame anchor. And you also get an 85 steal so we can get, so we get silver glove, 78 perimeter defense, which is enough. Interior defense of a 79 and our rebound is at a 58. Not super high on rebounding, but it's enough. And that gives us a total of 21 defensive badges. Moving on to the physicals, we want to make sure we got an 80 acceleration. It's on the lower side compared to the 6-1. It's not as fast, of course, it's 6-9 and it can do all this stuff on defense and everything. So we want an 80 acceleration just so we can be moving decently fast with the ball in our hand. And then for speed, we want the 75. So when we're playing off ball and also playing defense, we can cut people off a little bit with that 99 block. 99 block's really gonna carry this build on defense, so your speed don't really gotta be that high. And then we went with the 76 vertical. There's some requirements you need for contact dunks. So we put that at a 76, and then stamina, we got that at a 90. And that's a 6-9 build I would recommend, y'all. It's super overpowered. I feel like it could do everything. It gets Hall of Fame anchor. It gets silver glove. Agent threes, it got that. Quick first step, it got that. Limitless takeoff, it got that. It has everything you can ask for in the build. That's why I feel like the six nines are better all around, but they're not as efficient on the offensive side as six ones are, and then they don't get that 99 steal with Hall of Fame glove either. But as I said, the strengths for the six nines, they can do everything at a high level. It's like a demi build on offense and defense. Y'all can use this build on any court. So if you don't want to make multiple builds, you want to play it on as many courts as possible, you might have different teammates playing on different builds. Make the six nine because you're not going to be limited to nothing. The weaknesses I would say are probably the acceleration is not as fast as the six one, and it also doesn't get quick first step on Hall of Fame, but quick first step on gold is enough. And another thing I would say is with an 87 ball handle, it doesn't get all the animation that a 6-1 gets. So you're limited to certain animations, but you can dribble perfectly fine on the 6-9. The takeovers, this build really gets everything. It gets all the slashing takeovers, shot cutting takeovers, sharp, rim. So you're basically like a like a point center, y'all. I'm telling y'all this build is super overpowered, but I'm going with limitless range and I'm going with stuff blocks. These are the best all around guard builds you can make in NBA 2K23. But click this video if you want the best jump shots for all builds.